another episode, and today I am going to be talking about tags. Tags is our Texas age group swimming, and it's our state meet for age groupers, which is 14 and under. I'm in the 10 and under division. So, tags is a big meet, as I said before, and it's really, really fun, and you have to get qualifying times in order to go. And I made all my tags times. I actually tagged out at Golf Champs, and... I did really, really good at tags. So tags is like five days long, and um, you have the events are really spread out. So the, on the first day, I swam the 200 IM and the 100 freestyle. On the 200 IM, I did really good in my prelims, and I dropped about mm, five seconds. And on the 100 free in prelims, I think I dropped two seconds. Um, Anyways, it was a really good swim in the prelim. And then going back into the finals, I dropped a buttload of time in my 200 IM. And big big shout out to Olivia. Um, just saying, both of us crushed that 200 IM. And we pushed each other to the max. She might have gotten me at the last second, but I don't care. I dropped a buttload of time. We crushed it. And right now, when this video is being made, our times are in the top five in the country. So, yeah, that was pretty impressive. And I'm also really proud of myself because the 200 IM wasn't really an event that was on my radar of being my best event. And I, I went in there, got my first 11, 12 tags time, and I was like, and then on the 100 free, that was my event. Like, I crushed that event, and I got my 11, 12 tags time, and I barely missed a tags record. That was so sad. And I won by, like, a whole body length. And then we did a relay that night, too. And that was also really fun. And we did really, really good in it. And we got third. Yeah. That's actually really good for a relay. So, moving on to the next day. The second day, I think I swam the 200 free. And the 50 breast. 200 free and the 50 breast was on the second day. So the 200 free, I'm not a big fan of it, but I'm still really good at it. And actually, it got really fun once I figured out how to swim it. See, my problem was pace work. And at prelims, I did really good. I dropped seconds. Um, actually, I think I dropped like three seconds. Yeah, three seconds I dropped in prelims. And it was a really good swim, but I didn't do my pace work correctly. But it was still awesome. And then in the 50 breast during prelims, I also did really well. And this was kind of my redemption event because back in, in back in show course if you guys remember I didn't have that good of a prelims and I barely missed the A finals by like point oh one or point one I don't know but then when I came back for finals I crushed everybody in the B final and my time that I swam would have been tax champion if I was in the A final but it wasn't I only got ninth so it was my redemption um, event. So at finals, in the 200 free, I figured out my pace work, and me and Olivia, once again, crushed everybody. Once again, she also barely got me at the end, but I don't care. It was a really good swim. I got another 11-12 times time, dropped like, what, five seconds? And it was amazing. So another um, good event, and I got second. And once again, our times that we swam are also ranked top five in the country right now, along with my 100 free that I did the other day as well. Now for the redemption event, the 50 breaststroke. So I went into the 50 breaststroke first, I believe. Yeah, first. And I kept it. And I, I won. And I was so happy because I finally got my redemption on that thing. Yes! And then we also did another relay that day. And it was also super fun. Wait, we didn't do a relay on the first day. Whoops, sorry, I forgot. The relay wasn't yesterday. Today was the first relay that the 10 and unders did, and we did the 400 free relay. And we did awesome, and that was the one that we got third in. So, my bad. Anyways, moving on to the third day. On the third day, I swam the 50 fly. And I swam the 100 breaststroke. <laughs> so, on the 50 fly, I did really good in prelims. I dropped a little bit of time again. 
and I made it into the A final, and that was all I got, I wanted to do. So then I went to my hundred best, and I also did really good in that event. Uh, I swam my seed time in prelims. I was right on it, but it still was a good swim, and it got me into the A. Then, moving on to finals. In the 50 fly, I came fourth, going in fifth, which is actually really good for me, because if you remembered last season, or last long course tags, my 50 fly was not a good race that I did. Uh, I, in prelims, I didn't even swim the tags cut, didn't even make it into the B final. Mm -mm. It was bad. And, um, I mean, big improvement. I came fourth this long course. And, the, and it wasn't one of my best events, and the whole reason why I did it is... So, the reason why I did the 50 fly is because the 400 freestyle, I swam one time this season. And I'm really good at it, but I hate it. <laughs> I do not like that event. I do not like long distance. So, I was just like... So, since the 100 IM isn't an event in long course, I was like, crap, I gotta swim that. And then I'm like, no, I can swim the 50 fly. I'm giving it another shot. So I worked on my butterfly all season long, and look where it got me. I'm happy. And then in the 100 breaststroke, I did really well on that one, too. I came third in that one, actually. So, so I came in third, and I dropped a whole second off my time. So that's actually a really good swim for me. And then we did another relay, and we did, good in, uh, we did awesome in that one, too. We came fourth. And, yeah, moving on to the last day. So the last day was just one event, and that was the 50 freestyle. So I was going in all pumped and all excited because I knew I only had one girl who would be my biggest competition. So I was just focused on that one person. And in prelims, I did really well. I got myself second and dropped a little time, I think. Yeah, I dropped a little bit of time. And then, moving on to finals, it was intense. So we dove in, a little bit ahead of me, and then we were neck and neck, and it was all down to the finish, and she got me by, like, just a teeny bit. And she was, I actually out-touched her by a teeny bit in short course, and then she got me in long course, and I was really, really sad about that, because we both crushed the tag's record. It goes to her, though, because she beat me, but we still both creamed it and that was actually really exciting and with the times that we swam right now that got us second and third out of the whole country so that's pretty impressive and then I did a relay like 10 minutes after that and I was still really down in the dumps for losing that or not losing but not coming first because that was my event or I thought it was my event so I was really sad and big shout out to Coach Jared, because to cheer me up, he wore a tutu during our relay. And it was so funny, because I was behind the block, and I saw him put it on, and I was like, giving him a thumbs up. So I was doing the anchor on the 200 freestyle relay. Yes. Oh, sorry, medley. It was a 200 medley relay, and I was doing the anchor, so I was freestyle. And I went in and beat the best time that I just swam 10 minutes ago. So... That was impressive. I'm really happy, and it was a good meet, and it was it was really fun. So I want to give a big shout out to Coach Jared again, cause this season would never have happened without him. Cause I was training in a group, and being the youngest person in a group isn't always the best. Cause being the youngest one in the group isn't easy mentally and emotionally. So, when people were mean or something like that, he helped me, he would listen, he would give me a lot of advice, and he wouldn't just be, just go swim. Like, he would give me a lot of advice, he would help me through it, and he helped me get to where I am now. And so, big shout out to Coach Jared, and thank you so much for making this whole entire season possible. And also, big shout out to my whole team, because we are so big when it comes to team spirit at tags we paint our faces we wear tutus we dance we shout we do the whoosh we cheer we come up with new team cheers throughout the way it's really i love it it's 
I love being on Twist. We might not be the tippy-top best team, but we're definitely the best when it comes to team spirit. So that's what I love about the Woodland Swim Team. Anyways, so after that awesome meet, we left right from there to go to Arizona. So, it was really fun. The Grand Canyon was amazing. It was so big. Um, we got to hike down it a little bit. We didn't go all the way down because that's too far. But we hiked down a little bit. We got to see some of the overlooks. We took a tour bus. We got to eat there. It was really, really cool. And then after Arizona at the Grand Canyon, on the way back, we visited a couple of the historic little towns uh, about that inspired... We actually visited the town that inspired Radiator Springs from the movie Cars. And it was really cool because we went to this cafe and this guy said that the person who was crea who created Cars, I forgot his name, but Stanley, the town's founder, the, it was based off of, I think, his grandparents, his grandpappy or whatever. And right behind this cafe was Stanley's Barbershop and that's what inspired Cars and we got to see all the cool little historic towns. And we also spent the night in a wigwam. It was really small, and I was basically taller than the shower, but I don't care, because it was cool. And the, if you don't know, the Cozy Cone is inspired by the wigwams. It's like a big TP kind of thing. It was really small, but it's really cute and comfy. So, after that, we went to Roswell, New Mexico, and we got to see the Alien Museum. And then we went by a couple of gift shops there and got some cool things, and we took some cool pictures with all the aliens. It was really neat and creepy. And then, now I'm home, relaxing, and in about a week and a half, I'll be back in the pool, ready to start a new season. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Please make sure to subscribe for more, and leave a like. Bye!